Pocketnail Daily gets around uh, between 300 to 500 comments a day, sometimes a thousand, and uh, we can respond to every one of them, but we do read them a lot, so we thought we'd try something new. I'm Jaime Rivera, this is Pocket Now, and this is our Pocket Now Daily Recap for last week. Last Monday I asked you if you like color on your phones, the news were about the iPhone 5S probably bringing color and we've got 553 comments, out of which let's go through some of them. Abel Ila says, no color Apple, how will iOS 7 blend in? And to be honest with you, you're kind of right, I mean, iOS 7 is so colorful I can't imagine a colorful phone with a colorful UI. SRX Shadow says, no cases, it disrupts the aesthetics until you drop the phone and probably the reason for that was because I said that with the iPhone at least you get the option of a case and well honestly, yeah. Yeah, you're kind of right. I don't like cases myself. The only benefit is the fact that in phones like the iPhone, you just have to use a case anyways. Steven Tiller, which is a frequent commenter, said no, either white or black, and you'd be surprised. I think about 60 to 70% of the comments said, no, we don't want color on our phones, and it's probably something we just have to dive in eventually. And then a code that I'm not even going to try to pronounce here said that yes, a product red iPhone would be cool, and you're kind of right. It would be awesome to have the option for color, especially if it's for a benefit of something. Honestly, color is just one of those things that you do see it in cars, you do see it in clothing, but I don't know, I haven't seen color in watches yet. Or at least not in adult watches is what I'm trying to say. On Tuesday of last week, I asked you if you like the customizable phone concept because we know what the Moto X can do. We got 211 comments out of which, for example, Ibra, and I'm sorry man, I'm not trying to butcher your name, everybody butchers mine all the time, but you say that we should give Motorola credit for what they've done and the comment is kind of long, but bottom line is, you're right, yes, we should give Motorola credit. Nobody's doing it. We thought about this concept years ago, but we probably thought about it more in the option of thinking of your processor or RAM options and everything, but still, I think that color is a right direction. They're starting with it, and you're not obligated to buy color. You could just go for a black or white phone, which is great. Then we have Yvonne Johnson who says, yes, I would like a customizable phone concept because it's different and unique, and you're right. You won't be the same guy in the crowd that has the same phone that everybody has. Yes, you could have the same phone, but it's going to be unique to you, actually. Then another commenter with a code name here says, I love custom colors, but I'll never engrave my phone. And you know, that's a really good point. Engraving is really complicated because you're stuck with a phone for you. Unless you figure out a name like Powered by WebOS or something like that that somebody else could like, you're pretty much stuck to the phone. And finally, Brian A says, I bet Apple will not be excited. And yeah, competition is actually very interesting and we love it. Now on Wednesday of last week, I asked you if you would still like a curated keyboard on your phone because LG is bringing this cheap, uh, well, affordable phone out there that has a curated keyboard. And I got 547 comments here, out of which let's say, for example, Call Me Mark says, the G-pad needs a home button called the G-spot. Uh, next. Ellie Witt responds, it's pronounced curity, not curity, just a little FYI. Um, Ellie, for your information, uh, it's curity is not even an acronym, it's not a name. You're just pronouncing the letters, just like an AZERTY keyboard, for example, for the French. So I don't think there's really a right pronunciation. Sammy Vanity is probably one of the only people that said, yes, I would love a curity keyboard. And it's interesting, people are moving away from it. I personally think that it was a cool thing to have in the past, but I honestly find myself myself typing faster on a normal keyboard than I would with a curity keyboard and that's just I guess evolution the way it is text tradition has got a lot better and then super fat chow 14 says at 259 he sounded like Bane from the Dark Knight Rises uh Bane let's see um we take power from the corrupt and we give it to the people is that good enough now, if you remember on Thursday, we had this ad from Microsoft for Windows Phone and the Lumia 1020 that I actually praised a lot. And the question of the day was, what did you think about Windows Phone ads in general? We got 335 comments. And first of all, Eddie Rosado says, Windows Phone, I want you to succeed. And I think everybody does. I mean, no market in a duopoly where we have Android and iOS succeeds. We need more operating systems to succeed. Windows Phone has a lot of things that I wish would be better, but still, I do want it to succeed as well, especially because because of the fact that I come from Windows Mobile. Then another commenter says, great ads, better than HTC's, and you know, I'm not gonna agree with that actually. I remember the HTC U campaign, which was good. This is a little off topic, but still, I feel that HTC is doing a better job now with Robert Downey Jr. They're generating expectation, and uh, yeah, it's getting there. Uh, sadly, Microsoft ads, this is probably the first one that I like. Then we have Sobrino928 saying, I like Windows Phone 8 ads. I mean, the Surface one, sadly, on the other hand, and then we get a couple of points, and I do understand your 
of point. Especially when we have Isaac Peachy saying, my favorite is the Windows RT commercial. I think that every time I see it, the price lowers. Soon they will pay you to take it. And uh, I'm not gonna say anything. But you're right. Then on Friday, the hot news wrote the fact that Steve Ballmer was retiring as CEO of Microsoft, and I asked you, what did you think of his retirement? 313 comments came in. One of them was Broken Horn 90, which said, Ballmer is the best thing that ever happened to the Mac and the Linux world. And, you know, honestly, you're kind of right. In the times of Bill Gates, this wouldn't have happened. Then Handy Setiad said, Stephen Ela, please, and that would probably be a good idea for a CEO. He's doing a good job at Nokia. I just wish I would see more results, but obviously we need to be patient with the guy. Then Italy 1999 comes up and says, bring old school back, bring Gates back. And, you know, a lot of people have debated this. I even wrote an editorial about it recently, and I do want Bill Gates to come back. I'm not saying that other people, new people, can't do a better job, but I do believe that Bill Gates is that person that knows the company better than anybody, and Microsoft is kind of a complex company. It's really big, so honestly, it's not that I'm saying that nobody else is capable. I'm just saying that Microsoft is in need of some desperate measures, and they don't really need to try somebody out. They need to bring somebody that already knows how to fix the problem. That's probably the reason why I would love for Bill Gates to come back, but again, thank you very much for all these comments. These were the total of the weekend. We will see, obviously, how things emerge out of these five things that we discussed discuss today. That's it for this week's recap. Thank you very much for watching. If you want your question to be featured, a couple of tips. Number one, keep it short. Number two, stick to the point. And number three, try to get as many votes as you can. And again, follow us on social media. We've got a lot more video content coming up and obviously a pocket now daily every single day. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you on the next recap.